Good morning, my third graders. First of all, I miss you tremendously. Um, I really hope that you have had a chance to get outside and play and run around and catch up on sleep and do everything a kid is supposed to do. I miss you. So nothing's quite the same coming to work and not having my kiddos in here. Anyway, um, I am going to be posting one video a week and it's going to range from science experiments to maybe a fun math activity, whatever it could be. Um, so every Monday I will post that. So next Monday, make sure you look forward to popping in and seeing if I've posted a video. And along with the video, I'm gonna be posting two different resources at least. I'm gonna be posting a resource. It could be a workbook page out of your math book that you could do if you want to, that kind of goes with the activity that we're doing today. Or you can um, go on to the links that I have provided, like for instance, IXL and Prodigy are two links that I'm going to provide this week. So those are gonna give you some options of some stuff that you could do at home as well. So today's lesson, I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do geometry because I love learning about shapes and attributes of shapes and all sorts of fun things. So without further ado, let's learn about geometry. So my first thing that I wanna discuss is vocab. So vocab is very important, and these words are going to come in handy a little bit later towards our activity. So the first word is quadrilateral, and a quadrilateral is any shape with four sides and four corners. So for instance, a rectangle or a square. And then attributes are characteristics or qualities of a person, place, or thing. Now, in order to help with attributes, I'm going to show you an example of attributes that I created about myself. So an attribute of me would be I'm a third grade teacher and I love my job. I wear glasses, I have blonde hair, and as all of you know, my favorite animal is a cow. So those are some attributes of myself. If you are willing and interested and you want to use a family member, a dog, a cat, whatever it might be, you can list some attributes of those as well that'll kind of help practice then i have a fun activity for us to do um i had mentioned at the beginning of the video that there was a possibility of using um workbook pages so those of you who brought your math workbook home you could open it up to this page and you can kind of follow along with me and if you want to do it you can but it is not required so it's called what makes a rectangle so special and this is on page 188 in your math book or i did post this as a resource in a pdf form on our morton school district website so you can just log into there and you can print it out or you can see it and copy it down on another piece of paper whatever works for you so i am not going to write on this um because i would really um, I want to give everybody an opportunity to do it if they so choose, but I will read it to you and then we'll move on from there. So all quadrilaterals have four sides and four corners. So what makes a rectangle so special? So in this circle, we have all sorts of rectangles. In this circle, we have shapes that are not categorized as rectangles. So they do not fit that. They do not have the attributes to fit being a rectangle. So number one says, List at least four attributes that are shared by all the shapes in the rectangles group. So here are all the shapes in the rectangles group. And if you remember, attributes are characteristics. So just there you could list what are some characteristics of those shapes in that circle. Number two says list at least four reasons the shapes in the not rectangles group can't be in the rectangles group. So why is it that this shape over here in the not rectangles group can't be here so what makes them different? So you can list some reasons there if you want to and so choose. And then down here, we just have a word bank of characteristics that go along with shapes. So you have a right angle, obtuse angle, and acute angle. You have parallel lines, perpendicular lines, symmetrical, lines of symmetry, straight line, curved, closed, and open. So you can, you can definitely refer to that word bank to help you list attributes if you want to. Other than that, this is all that I have for you today. Make sure you tune in next week on Monday because I think I'm going to do a science video 
and it is going to be a lot of fun. I know my kiddos especially love science. So I'm again, I miss you a lot and I cannot wait to see you. I think we're supposed to be back April 27th. That is the earliest we can come back, but I am going to try to keep these videos up so I can keep communicating with you. Anyway, I will see you next Monday. Bye.